Today we're going to talk about why you should buy an Italian villa, especially on auction. You're probably wondering from the title, is he really going to give 400 reasons why I should buy a, a property in Italy? Well, no, I was trying to be creative. Actually, uh, another way to write 400 is like this. I could even break it down like this. You got it. We're talking about Roman numerals. I'm going to break it down one more time. All right, here we go. Now, these are not 400 reasons. These are five reasons. This is an acronym for the, what we're going to talk about. And the first letter stands for location. One of the greatest reasons for buying property in Italy is gaining access to the location. I'm talking about being poised between the Mediterranean and other European countries. If you enjoy traveling and visiting cultural sites, you'll love the fact that for less than 100, less than 50 euros at times, you can take an airplane to any country in Europe. And on your day off, check out the beaches. Now, this does help a lot with your lifestyle. Talking about Italian lifestyle, um, for example, I'm here in the center of my, uh, the, kind of the bigger city near my home, and you can walk through the, 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 the piazza. For, this is a beautiful piazza. There's a church right over here. But surrounded, you can find shops and, and uh, coffee shops, and literally, it's just a buzzing beehive of uh, business. And so it's interesting to live this specific lifestyle. If you like fashion, I recommend going to Milano. If you like the beaches, I recommend going. I recommend going to Southern Italy. If you just want some peace and quiet, there are other regions such as like Umbria that have mountainous areas, which are just empty of people compared to the rest of Italy. Anyway, there's there's houses everywhere. Um, anyway, the idea is that this lifestyle you can choose which type of lifestyle you want. Believe it or not, you don't have to be a celebrity in order to access Italian real estate. In fact, um, wouldn't it be great if you could take the money that you spend typically on hotels and put and, and funnel that where it belongs in a property of your own so that you can extend your stay the next time you come to Italy and, uh, and, and even visit other European countries using your Italian home as a hub or a base of operations. Now, but what about the cost? Truth is, by finding real estate through court auctions, villas are more affordable than they've ever been. Whether you're choosing something luxurious or something perhaps more economical, you'll, you can find everything available on the market at the, right now. All right, let's take a, a look at a few costs of real estate investing in Italy. We're gonna compare two situations, the traditional market and a court auction option. Okay, and so uh, through the traditional market, you'll most likely contact a real estate agent and have to pay them a commission, which is similar to those in the United States, but often less, maybe more like 3% or 4%. You will also have to pay a notary public, which is uh, the title company, basically. Like uh, it's a notary, but um, they do the job of the title company. Okay, so that expense can be quite high, two to three, four to four percent, depending. Now, you'll also have to buy plane tickets, depending on the various times you have to go and meet and, and sign all these documents. You'll have to pay for hotel rooms and you have to pay for documents and make sure all the documents are translated. Um, in the end, it just takes a lot of time and energy that you could spend doing things that you prefer. Now, unless you really like the challenge, there is another option. The court auctions, you actually have two choices. You can either choose to do it yourself. All the information is public. You can access it, especially if you speak Italian. You can find it on any court website, the instructions of how to participate. Uh, or you could choose a delegate to act in your name so that you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Now, you can do, I'm going to talk about a cash payment option. If you can pay for the property in cash, you can avoid the costs of the notary public. And already doing it yourself, you've, you're, you're replacing the cost, uh, saving some money on the real estate commission. Now, through the delegate, if you pay through cash, you'd still save on the notary public, but 
you most likely will have to pay for a delegate services that will most likely be less or could be similar to a real estate agent depending on the one you find. Now, uh, plane tickets, I just, <laughs> this is interesting because if you do it yourself, most likely you're going to come a few times and you're also going to have to pay for hotel room. But on the delegate side, you just need a plane ticket when you decide to come and pick up your keys. It'll be ready on arrival if you choose to, to, to wait to see it until the, the entire process is, is through keys in hand. And doing this allows you to stay in your own property as opposed to paying hotels. Um, now, the documents, you still have to prepare the documents yourself or you can send them electronically to your delegate and he, will make sure, he or she will make sure that everything is in line, ready to go. Now, time and energy, definitely it would take more time and energy if, for you to do it yourself. Again, if you like the challenge, go for it. If you choose to follow the path of the delegate, you'll definitely have time and energy and a lot of money saved uh, in, through the court auction system. Looking at my own portfolio, currently we have four properties costing us an average just shy of 37,000 euros each. The same properties through the typical real estate market would be sold for more than double that amount. Saving money on the price, notary and agent will allow you to funnel your money where it belongs into choosing a better property instead of giving it to the middleman. If you intend to live in Italy long term, you can save even more money on the purchase. Watch this video to learn more about that. If you don't intend to live in Italy long term, turn your property into a, a real asset and start earning some cash flow. Since Italy is a fantastic tourist destination, you actually have extra options on turning it into cash flow. Now you could do the standard uh, long-term rental property or you could do a short-term vacation property depending on the location you choose. That way you can use the property in the off-season or just whenever you like. Whatever you do, just make a decision and start adding some padding to your pocketbook. Change. This is probably my favorite reason. If you're following the same patterns of life, perhaps it's time to shake up your perspective a little bit and start real estate investing in foreign markets. Maybe try out Italy. Investing in Italy, you can experience culture and food and people that you've never ever thought of experiencing before. And you know, no matter what I say here, no no amount of grammatical creativity is going to change your mind unless you have that within you to think outside the box and explore a new world. Now, real estate investing could be one of those adventurous, fulfilling experiences if you just give it that chance. Whether or not you decide to act on this new gain knowledge and uh, buy an Italian property, the fact remains that investing in Italy is within your grasp. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and like the video if it's something you enjoyed so that I know to make more content about this. Feel free to reach out in the comments. Till then, I'm going to go back to doing what the Romans do.